What is up YouTube? It's your girl Evelyn and today I want to highlight some upcoming shows and films featuring queer lady characters. But before we dive into the list, I want to give a quick shout out to the sponsor of today's video. Me. It's me. Ooh, hot twist. I just wanted to let you guys know that I officially have merch now. Ugh. My merch store is called Millennial Threads and it is full of stuff that millennials love. Pointless nostalgia. Like this Golden Girls t-shirt or this different Golden Girls t-shirt or my absolute absolute personal favorite, this specific Golden Girls t-shirt. I have a problem. And right now, there's a bunch of 90s themed Halloween shirts on sale, including this Golden Craft Girl shirt. So if you've ever died of dysentery, know who Zeke the Plumber is, or have said the names Michelle, Tamika, and Tanya, you might want to check out my merch store. The link is in the description. Thank you so much for your support. Now on to the video. I've been trying not to think Everything Now is a wonderfully queer and incredibly British series that puts a decidedly Gen Z spin on the concept of a bucket list. Mia, a 16-year-old in recovery from an eating disorder, has just returned home after a six-month hospital stay. And after trying to readjust to her life, Mia soon realizes she has a lot of catching up to do. I understand what I need to do now so I can go back to school and see my friends and just be normal again. Mia? How are you? You know how it is. No, I don't. I've never been to a mental hospital. The trailer for Everything Now very much gives Skins meets sex education vibes. So if you're a fan of either of those shows, you'll probably enjoy this one. Not to mention the romantical entanglements look to be incredibly messy. I mean, Mia is seen crushing and kissing on multiple characters in the trailer, one of whom is a lady. Also, quick shout out to the lead, Sophie Wilde, who was fan of fantastic and talk to me, a movie I highly recommend if you haven't watched or if you're a little skittish about horror movies, you might want to check out my very non-scary breakdown of talk to me over on my second channel. You can watch everything now October 5th on Max. <laughs> The Fall of the House of Usher is easily the new release I am most looking forward to this month. Our boy Mike Flanagan is back at it again, and this time he's loosely adapted the gruesome Edgar Allan Poe short story, The Fall of the House of Usher, which details the downfall of a wealthy, privileged, and powerful family. Who are you? Consequence. And tonight is consequential. First things first, the queer in this show seems fairly abundant. The trailer gives us a quick peek at what appears to be a threesome in the making, not to mention two of the family members are definitely gay, and one of whom, Victorian, has a girlfriend. Now, based on the trailer, it's pretty clear most, if not all, of the family members are terrible people. So it should be a blast watching the world's sexiest demon kill them all, assuming that's what happens, because apparently Mike Flanagan didn't just use the fall of the House of Us as source material. He actually used several of Edgar Allan Poe's works, which will likely keep us guessing until the very last episode. You can catch The Fall of the House of Usher October 12th on Netflix. What happens when a lesbian filmmaker has a one night stand with a drag queen that results in an unexpected pregnancy? The Persian version, a comedy unlike anything you've ever seen before. You're pregnant by a gay guy. I'm, no. Gay. You knocked up my gay sister. I'm still gay. I just happen to get pregnant. You weren't gay on Halloween. Layla is an Iranian American who's estranged from her family due to her mother's less than enthusiastic response to her coming out. But when Layla's father has a health complication, she and her mother are forced to put aside their differences and find some common ground. And I have to say, the Persian version has one of the most charmingly sweet yet hilarious trailers I've watched this year. Now, the release date for this film has been changed, but I believe it's currently coming out now on October 20th in Los Angeles and New York, followed by by a nationwide release a little later. If you loved Joyride but wished it was slightly less raunchy, then Tripped Up might be right up your alley. It's about a group of four friends who hit the road and get into hilarious hijinks on their way to compete in a prestigious food festival. Work is a nightmare, my boss hates me, and I'm this close to exploding. This close. 
I mean, honestly, it just sounds like you really need to get laid. Now, at least one of the friends is gay and seemingly has or gets a lady friend during the movie, but I won't lie. I don't know what Tripped Up is rated, but it's very much giving Freeform Original meets Netflix Youth Movie meets Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants, which is fine. We could 1000% use more light, fluffy, and fun films featuring queer lady characters. Also, shout out to Leah Lewis, who you might recognize from the half of it, which happens to be an excellent Netflix youth movie. You can watch Tripped Up October 20th in theaters or wait until the 27th and catch it on VOD. Disney's Goosebumps just might be the most surprising addition to this month's list, but apparently Disney is fully in its it era, and I'm here for it. You think? Hey. This latest adaptation of Goosebumps follows a beautifully diverse group of high school students who accidentally release supernatural forces upon their town and must work together to save it. This is all connected. He's getting revenge <laughs> for what our parents did to him. I get those goosebumps every time. Oh my God, we're murder Nepo babies. Now, you guys know, I would never assume anyone's sexuality based on something as superficial as their appearance. But something tells me that a couple of these teens just might be riding the queer wagon. Also, this seems gay. And even though I'm still holding out hope for a super dark, twisted, and edgy Goosebumps adaptation, this one looks pretty damn good. The trailer is both funny and creepy, not to mention it has the Justin Long starring in it horror stamp of approval. You can watch Goosebumps on October 13th on both Hulu and Disney+. Plus. You guys, Jordana Brewster is playing a lesbian drug lord. Oh my God, okay, it's happening. Neon is a brand new Netflix show about three friends who moved to Miami, hoping to make it big in the world of reggaeton. The three of us currently live in a 2009 Toyota Corolla. Demi now, as of the making of this video, very little has been released about the plot of Neon, but we do know Jordana is playing a lesbian drug lord named Gina, which honestly sounds like the building blocks of a really good fanfic. And of course, the show will also be full of amazing music. You can catch Neon October 19th on Netflix. <laughs> One Night is an Australian thriller about three women who experience an incredibly traumatic event. Then, 20 years later, one of them writes a book about the incredibly traumatic event, throwing not only their lives into chaos, but also those of their small coastal community. I won't lie, the plot and the cast of this show makes me wish I had Paramount Plus, but not enough to make me willing to pay for Paramount Plus. I just can't do it. Also, the gay in this show is repped by none other than our girl, Doctor Who herself, Jodie Whittaker. And to those of you who've watched One Night, please let me know in the comments, is it worth a Paramount subscription? That is it for the video. I wanna give a quick shout out to my big spender patrons, Angel, Citizen Ruth, Mary, Angie, JC, and Lucia. Hey. Also, just to let you guys know, I recently made a brand new fancy Discord server called Evelyn's Real Talk, where you can chat with me about reels or movies if you want. Also, in honor of the spooky season, I will be reviewing both My Animal and The Five Devils sometime next week, so be on the lookout. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.